by curious lighting. That's more accurate. Yes. Yes, that's way more accurate. This is by curious lighting. Okay, great. Let's watch this clip. Oh, wait, I forgot something. I want y'all to read this loud and clear for me. Okay, chat. I got something real. I, I this is the boldest thing to do. This is the boldest thing to do immediately after getting unbanned. Like, holy moly, dude holy moly that is so brave that is so so he is braver than like all of the troops like every single troop that is that is so brave i'm i would be way too pussy to do it uh i don't get it imagine twitch bans him again it would be kind of funny if they banned him again to be honest it would be a little funny do you think that they would ban him for it i feel like they would but well i guess we'll wait and see <laughs> He had a man month to plan this. You know, he was cooking it up. Yeah. You guys think I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna repeat it? Y'all crazy. You guys are crazy. Uh, that would be insane to ban him for that. Oof. Can we, do I dare? Do I dare look at the LSF? So like, I'm sure you guys have noticed when I go to see LSF to see like what's trending, basically like I use it the way that I use Twitter, which is like, what the fuck are people on Twitch talking about now? Um... And I don't like to go to the subreddit because the subreddit has all the dumb fucks in it talking about it. You know what I mean? But this, if you just go to where all of the the links are reposted, you don't have to worry about it. Oh gosh, I have to sneeze. <gasps> the singular sneeze? Okay. 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 Um, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so I try not to go to LSF because LSF is just like a cesspool. It's literally just like the place where incels go because they have nothing else better to do with their lives. Like genuinely speaking, if you see like it's a, it's actually a terrible thing. If you go on LSF and you see like any thread, any thread that has like a woman in it in the clip, there are like at least half the comments are saying terrible things about the person. At, at least more than half. Even like the clip could be of anything. It could be of genuinely, it could be of anything. What is this? Uh, oh, yes. I have to respond to my emails. It's just, just emails. Uh, what is this? Right, 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 right. Where's the Bruce clip on this? Uh, oh, my God, dude. The Asmongold stuff is going to be so entertaining. It's going to be so entertaining. I'm such, a, I'm such a bad noodle, but I just love it. It's just so, it's just so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. <clears throat> What are the what are the people? What are the masses saying? This is best. Let's see top. What are the top? This is so dumb. LMAO. You get man for a month and the first thing you do when you come back is double down on a hill that nobody cares about. Streamers at this level have literally one of the easiest jobs on the planet. And somehow they're the most eager to throw it all away. Not that I think this is serious. Just why even take the risk of anything happening again when you know it sparks controversy? Dude, you are this is so beta male. User 131. <laughs> Look, it's like <laughs> name and a bunch of numbers. I'm about to say some stupid opinions. Like if you are if you are as big as Bruce, you just move to YouTube. Like it's not a problem. Like you have to be concerned about like losing your audience or like getting fucked by losing your platform when you're like maybe smaller than like like my size or smaller. When you're that big, when you're Bruce level big, if anything, a, uh, a clip like that will get you more exposure and will get you more followers. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't think it's that serious. But yeah, <laughs> and then. And then also this, like, like these are people who just don't, like, like they literally, they're just talking about things. This is the worst. See, this is why I can't go on LSF because I read the comments and then I'm like, I I get angry when I read the comments. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's just people who don't know anything about this. Just they don't know anything about any of this stuff. Like, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Sir Lancelot. More like Sir Dumbfuck a lot. Th this would make sense. Imagine Miz holding a sign that says fuck them and a chocolate bar. Seriously. Can you fucking imagine? This is the type of guy that when you tell him like, oh, uh, you know, like men shouldn't follow women into um, like dark alleys by themselves, you know, because like think about it like that's kind of scary. 
you know? And it's like, oh, so let me get this straight. It's okay for women to follow men into dark alleys. And it's like, wow, you have no understanding of anything, actually. There's like nothing happening inside of there. Like it's completely empty up there, isn't it, huh? That's so sad. That's okay, man. That's okay, brother. Huh? What are these? Do I even want to know what these clips are? Oh, Lord, hold up. Do I want to know? NSFW warning. Um, okay. Can I get an actual source for one of these? Ah, of course. Yes. Okay. Got it. They are, they're clips that were made in poor taste. I'm pretty sure years ago because the chat is moving so slowly. And hey, guess what? There are a lot of content creators that have said stupid shit. And guess what? It's because they think that they're being funny and then they realize that wasn't funny. That's it. It's the same thing that happens all the time. All the time. I have a question for you. So combating hate with hate is okay then? I have a question for you. We're just really, really quickly. Do you, and this is a genuine question, do you get personally offended when people say the word cracker? Genuine, genuine, genuine question. I'm not, I'm not. I just want to know. Like, what's your opinion? Because, you know, you can say yes or no. There's no wrong answer. Just, you can just tell me what you think. Hold up. Wait, I have to show a chatter on stream. Not because I'm trying to flame, but because this is, okay, nice cat, by the way. Uh, <laughs> this is such, a, this message was such a commitment and my ADHD brain almost didn't read it. But then I read it and it was actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> Top three acts of commitment. Number one, self-emulating uh, Buddhist monks on cover of Rage Against the Machine album. Two, Bruce. Three, standing in front of a tank in Tiananmen Square. <laughs> you were committed to it. and I, I respect it, dude. You were like, you know what? Streamer is probably not going to read. Um, Streamer is probably not going to read my message uh, because it's a paragraph long, but I'm still sending that shit, okay? <laughs> I respect it. Um, I don't like it. Not that it offends me, but the slippery slope it can lead to in the future. Um, do you know what happens when you... Dark Rebel 08. Do you know what happens when you Google slippery slope? We could do it together. Slippery slope. Oh, okay. So there's this terrible thing where the first thing that comes up, the first auto suggest is fallacy. It's actually the first thing. Because it's a, it's a fallacy. Slippery slope fallacy occurs when someone makes a claim about a series of events that would lead to one major event, usually a bad one. In this fallacy, a person makes a claim that one event leads to another event, and so on and so on until we come to some awful conclusion. Along the way, each step or event in the faulty logic becomes more and more improbable. Example, if you don't, I don't like this example. I'm going to say my example. My example is much better. I like the example of like, well, if we let gay people start marrying each other, then what? What's next? Then it's going to be they're marrying dogs. And then what? Then they're marrying children, which conservatives already do. Um, it's a fallacy. It's not going to happen like that. And you have to make your statements based on what's actually happening. Um, and so, yeah, you should be careful about talking about slippery slopes because it's actually um, a, fa a fallacy. So you raise a generation of people to hate white people and you really don't think it could lead to bad shit down the road. Um, you think that someone saying fuck them or holding up a sign that says fuck them um, and then a, a box that says saltine in it to reference people specifically. And here's the problem. I think it's that you don't know the context, but that's okay because not everyone knows the context to everything. Um, the context in that clip is like he has been pretty terribly mistreated by other people, specifically white people, um, in the organization that he was in. And he also, and, and for anyone who knows this, uh, people on Twitch who are non-white, non-male get much harsher treatments by Twitch, much, much harsher treatments by Twitch. He got, he got a month ban for, for what? The even? only people that want to marry dogs are white women. Stop. Stop it. Um, Bruce by no means hates white people. Bruce by no means says to hate white people. Bruce doesn't think any of those things. He is specifically talking about something that he, him and his community know about. 
Um, so yeah. Okay. Now, shall we watch the Asmund Gold stuff? Because I just wanted to watch that clip as an offhand thing because I thought it was pretty funny. Um, why is the sand shitting? Why would you say that? Like, you could have said anything. You could have been like, today is a great day. Wow, I sure hope it's a sunny day. I had breakfast. You could have said anything, anything, like literally like anything else, but you know. Side chat downing in the sand again, lost in come spilled glue. Well, this is not better than drowning in come pepe bot. <laughs> Stop. 